a third grade field trip and we're back in the swamp and I cut the motor off and they were like, what are we listening for? I said nothing. That's the whole, that's the whole point. But just this little area is right here by the road. But usually, I mean, there's some places you could probably stay out here for six months straight and not go through every little slough, every little cut, every little trinage that flows out here in Honey Island Swamp. And we have 40 something miles over here in Louisiana. There's 30 something miles on the other side of Mississippi. And then NASA has a lot of it bought up on the, on the farther tip, because that's where sometimes you'll be out here and you it'll sound like a tornado's coming. They're testing all the rockets. They build all the rockets for the space shuttles at this NASA. Oh yeah. And the Navy SEALs train on this river, further up river. So at nighttime, you'll see hovercrafts and all, they'll be jumping out of planes doing stuff in the swamp. Oh yeah. 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 Want to do a Cajun pinata? Slap this tree right here and see if we can make it away before we get stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Mexican ones better. <laughs> <laughs> Mexican. Cajun pinata. That's what we used to do at kids. Ray, want to go slap it with a stick? See if you can get away. Anybody have any questions about anything before we get off the boat? Does the swamp kind of look like what you what you thought a swamp would look like? Better, worse? Better. Better. And I'm coming back in April. <laughs> I'm coming back in April. <laughs> okay. I'm that. telling you, you're gonna and just keep your pictures and then kind of compare them. Yeah. Put your little collage. Put your old the the ones you get from November and the ones you get from. April and put them side by side and you can be like, geez, that's different. Crawfish for 10 minutes. Put the salt last, right? A what? Crawfish for 10 minutes, put the salt last. Hey, right. Mm -hmm. Got it. Not last, last, right when it when it's boiling. <laughs> don't put it in first, first. <laughs> you don't well, want to mess up that sack of crawfish. Huh? Your, your boiled seasoning. You can put all that in. What are you talking about? Just salt your salt. Know, yeah, salt some people, just uh, not all of it has salt in it. Oh, okay. You're confusing. They got somebody that does our crawfish for our LSU golf tournament every year. Mm -hmm. And the guy comes with a big tumbler. It looks like a big cotton candy machine. And once they ball the crawfish, he puts his seasoning, extra seasoning, like on the outside. He puts it in the tumbler and then sprinkles them on the outside. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about good. I was like, oh. I brought the guys from work some last year. I mean, they had almost a thousand pounds of crawfish. Oh my and I had a whole ice chest and I brought the guys from work. They was like, man, who made these crawfish? Some guy out of Lafayette. So is there ever going to be like a crawfish, crawfish like shortage? Like, you know, uh, I doubt it. I mean, it's just a crustacean. And you'll see one crawfish. Like we saw a couple the other day that we picked up. You picked up that mama crawfish and she had about two, three hundred eggs. Oh. So, I mean, the fish eat the eggs, you know, other crawfish eat eggs. But, I mean, if, if nothing ate crawfish, there would be billions <laughs> of them around, yeah. you know. So I doubt if there ever be a shortage of crawfish. And it's managed, that's why they have seasons. That's why, yeah. you know, you, you, it's, it's regulated. Yeah. And that's why they have forms. The scientists know all the little ways to, you know, to how to make the crawfish reproduce better, the way to keep Those them around longer. Ones, huh? Those aren't the good ones. Though, what? Right? I mean, they're not feeding them anything or giving them anything. They're just doing studies on them, okay. you know? Just like the farm-raised alligator. It doesn't taste no different than wild alligator. They feed them the same thing in the farm that they eat out here in the wild. Actually, if you bring your, your Nutrirat Nutri carcass to an alligator farm, they'll give you a dollar or so. Because the tails is the only thing that the wildlife fishery wants. And you can take the pelts or the hides, you can ship, ship, ship them back to Argentina because they're almost extinct over there.
I would also do, I take about uh, a cap or so of vinegar and put it in there. That keeps it from sticking to the shell also. Okay. Oh, kind of like a hard boiled egg. Yeah. Uh huh. Kind of like a hard boiled okay. egg. Yeah. You can do that or put it in ice water. Ice water, put a little vinegar in the, in the ice water. Yeah. I mean, there's all different types of techniques you can, you know. I mean, I'm sure nowadays you can Google anything and find out <laughs> anything, so, or YouTube it. If you can, I bet you it's, it's fun to watch. Is, it's probably <laughs> shape, shape of a four to lead. This looks like a, not the not yeah, the real right, one. Not, exactly. You're right. It's gonna be on there. <laughs> I, it's probably gonna be a pillowcase stuffed with candy. Okay, <laughs> Cajun's gotta make up their way to do anything. Mm. Now I'm gonna spin around and back up out here, all right? Cause that, that current's gonna push it into that other one. Nah, that's good. I'm gonna just back up and, and get out. I find this a little bit easier than banging them up sideways. I hope your tour was a little entertaining, a little educational. If you have any good pictures, any comments you'd like to make, good or bad, send them in. The boss loves the feedback. If you have any family or friends coming to the New Orleans area, send them out to see us because all our revenue here at Cajun Encounters and the city of New Orleans all comes from tourists, okay? Now just let me get this boat tied up before anybody tries to get off. It's the only place we've ever had anybody fall off the boat. It's right here at this boat dock. Okay? <laughs> The wristbands are for you to keep, or you can turn them in. It's a souvenir. Our website's on there. If you have any nice things to say about the captain, my name is Captain Troy. Any bad things, make up another name. <laughs> I like my easy little job. Mark? Yeah, of course. Mark.